Hey guys, Dan here from Pack Brim. It is a lovely rainy afternoon on Wednesday and we just felt like having some nice uh, hobby beers. So here we are. As usual, we've got Mr. Garrett Sinez behind the lens. Say hi, Garrett. Hey, everybody. So, uh, a couple things we wanted to do today. Uh, number one, we are going to try uh, um, three very hobby beers from Phillips because we were at Phillips the other day and uh, that's also something we want to talk about was our little tour of uh, Phillips and what we got up to. Um, let's talk about these beers because we've got some awesome beers here. This, this stuff, nice and fresh off the line. We just picked it up from uh, uh, the brewery itself. But uh, we are looking at a Phillips Hop Circle IPA. And I like their little rating system on the side here because it's telling us it's not, it's, it's about one third between the super light to super dark phase here. About the same for the hoppiness level and we're almost maxed out as far as their hops. The Bottle Rock and ISA, we haven't talked a lot about this because when this first came out, this was actually a seasonal and I believe it's 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 coming around as a full-time beer. Love the name Bottle Rock and it happens to be, uh, uh, Bottle Rock also happens to be an awesome chain of uh, craft beer stores in Thailand. So if anyone's in Thailand, you want some really nice craft beer, check out Bottle Rock. Uh, so this is our ISA. So the interesting thing about this ISA, normally an India Sessional Ale um, is kind of on the the level between a pale ale and an IPA. They're saying the hop level is just off the chart here. So I'm expecting big things out of this one. Love their graphics on that one too. It's just bright, it's fun. It literally looks like uh, the 4th of July or something's going on there. Um, next, this one's awesome. They did this last year. They started doing this again. This one we got to pick right off the line. Um, it's called Six. So this has six pounds of hops per barrel. This is like just insane amounts of putting hops in it. If you showed this to someone uh, in, in Asia, someone uh, uh, in Europe, they would say this is ridiculous because it's ridiculous. So love this beer. Uh, we're going to go at it again. Huge one. This hop level is off the chart. So this is the hoppiest. And we were there, they actually have a specific uh, machine that is the centrifuge that spins the hops away from some parts of the wart. And that's uh, that machine allows them to actually do this. And they say if they didn't amazing. have that, you can't put this much. Essentially, you can't put that much um, dry material yeah. in in beer without having this one particular machine. So this is this, one's, this is just this is just a big uh, uh, Pacific Northwest fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Skippy Nix is here. BC Beer Guy is here. Sonic Truth is hey, here. Hey guys. Babs' mom is here. You guys are on it. We're like, all here. We start. Malcolm, you know, here. you're just on it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Hey, Malcolm. Um, so, ironically, I you know what? I'm gonna go with the ISA first because this sure. should be the lowest in hops. Now, if I'm looking at it, I love their little levels here. If they're looking at it, we probably should start with the Hop Circle IPA because it's got a little more malt to it. So I think it's gonna be a little more balanced. Can I see both? Yes, you can. So once we pour one, we'll get into talking about uh, our time at Phillips and uh, what we did there. Um, always a good time at the Phillips Brewery. They are just about to open. It was cool. We got to uh, uh, shoot some film in the new bar that they're opening right now. Um, it's awesome. We'll get into that a little more. I love their their thought train to uh, to their tasting room. It's it's, it's quite a bit different um, than uh, anything you guys have seen out there at British Columbia. So, hops. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, what do you think? Let's go. I'm gonna go with the ISA first because this should be the least hobby of these three. So, sure. Getting into it. 4.5% uh, alcohol, that's probably why it's, it's the ISA, if the hop level's still off the chart. ISAs are normally a little less in, in alcohol, so 4.5% alcohol. Let's go, look at this nice glassware. And the pour. Nice light in color. That's really nice. Nice for you, buddy. Thanks, bud. Yeah. It's a rainy day. I'll put it over, actually, on, on this side, probably easier. Super clear. Frothy head. White, good yeah, retention. Nice Big yeah. hops right off the bat. At the end of drinking these, we're gonna have no taste buds left whatsoever, so. Mm. I'm gonna read it to you. Pull the tab and get away. Bottle Rocket ISA is packed with bright, hoppy flavor, sure to ignite your session. This beer is light in color, mm. medium bodied, but packs a big hop blast. Sure to satisfy even the most seasoned hop, hop technician. I, I feel like uh, the nose is more pungent than the actual taste. It's, it is. It's an ISA, so it's relatively sessionable. The IPA, I feel like, has a lot more, uh, a lot more kick to it. No, you're very right. I expected a big, way bigger kick out of this. Um, That's actually really nice. I like it. it. You get, you get the back of it. Right off, you don't get that huge, uh, you know, like something we're gonna get off of this. You get that huge hop taste right off the back, but you or right off the front. 
but that aftertaste of hop, you get that big hop taste coming back. So, yeah. very nice. I can tell why this is going to be a um, uh, uh, year round beer. Um, this is something that I can see people really enjoy. This this could be one of those beers that, and I tend to do that with ISAs. This is this this could be one of those beers that's just a staple in the fridge. You know, for me, I'm starting to get away from uh, the afterwork lager or the afterwork pale ale. I'm starting to get into that more kind of hoppy, regular drinking. So, um, I like it. That's great. I love the graphics. That's my favorite thing about it. These guys crush it. So why don't you kind of break down a little bit about uh, our time there, bud, over at uh, in Victoria, BC, on the Vancouver Island, the yeah, coast. Absolutely, we had a lovely day. We uh, uh, it was a beautiful blue bluebird day, freezing cold. Um, hopped on the ferry there. Always a beautiful ride on the BC ferries on a nice bluebird day. Um, got in Victoria. If you've never been to the Victoria, uh, sorry, the the Phillips Brewing, it is their uh, their brewery is right downtown. It's right in Chinatown, actually. The funny, the ironic thing is my uh, now wife and I used to live right around the corner. Um, but it's literally one block off of Chinatown. Um, so easily walkable from anywhere in downtown. Um, they've been there for ages. And it, it's, it's they've started buying up, like bigger breweries, like, you know, Parallel 49, Phillips. They started buying up uh, all the properties next to them and next to them as, as they started growing. And now, I mean, they've pretty much got a city block there. They just bought this massive warehouse next to them. I mean, this is the area they do all those huge... Uh, uh, music festivals and stuff. So I mean, they can have thousands of people in their in, the, in their kind of back warehouse and um, uh, uh, for music festivals. So um, very cool. Anyhow, we went there with the idea we were having a meeting with uh, Jim and Mr. Matt Phillips himself. We did that, and then we shot some video. And you're gonna see this video on Canadian Craft Beer Collective. If you guys go on YouTube, go check it out. Um, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. That stuff's gonna be done soon. We've already done uh, Parallel Forty Nine. We've already done Post Park. Um, Really great stuff, Vancouver video. A gentleman by the name of Josh does an awesome job of filming and editing it. Um, highly recommend that man. But we got to do the filming, which was which was the really cool part. So it's kind of me uh, interviewing Matt Phillips uh, and sampling each one of the beers. Number one, we got to do it in their new bar that's about to open. So I kind of alluded to this before. The new bar that's being opened is going to be their tasting room. Okay. Uh, not only is it going to be their tasting room, this is going to be like more of a beer education uh, tasting room, more so than other breweries. So one thing that uh, Matt mentioned to me, I've never heard of this before, I think it's fantastic. Uh, first of all, they will, ne they will never pour anything for over 10 ounces. That's the biggest glass you can get. Um, everything in that bar is meant for you to try different beers. And also, once you drink over, I think if you drink over three beers, if you never order the same thing twice, you get 10% off your bill. I that, that's just cool. That's amazing. That's so cool, what a wonderful idea. Yeah. I think that's great. So if you're gonna try three different things, um, you get a little discount to, to make sure uh, keep you honest and, and, and trying a bunch of different beers. I think that's super awesome. cool. Yeah, the bar looks awesome. Um, it was kind of like it was like three four weeks away from being finished, um, but looks beautiful. Nice reclaimed wood that they took right out of the warehouse. Great. So BC beer guy, just so you know, there, there's a brand new tasting room that's to the left. It used to be a uh, a dog kennel, uh, so they gutted it, uh, rebuilt, and it's actually going to be open in about a month. Um, three to four weeks, and it's phenomenal in there. They're gonna be serving, I don't wanna spoil it, but they're gonna be serving some pretzels, huge ones made with their own flour that they make uh, well, from their own they malt. They make their own bread, they make their own, maybe we'll talk about hot drops. Yep, yeah, they're gonna be they doing- don't say that. I don't know, I'm getting all excited there. They're gonna be doing uh, some uh, local meat as well. As well. Um, and just a bunch of really kind of cool food and, uh, and some amazing things. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, keep, keep your eye out for that, but we're gonna go on to the next beer. Yep. So this one we're gonna get into the Hop Circle IPA. Uh, this is 6.5% and we should have a little more in the way of uh, uh, balance as far as um, uh, alcohol and then malt as well. I'm, I'm expecting more of a kind of a malt, malt flavor. Obviously it's gonna be hop for it, but. Uh, and, and they changed this a little bit. So talking with Matt, this used to be a lot more skunkier and a lot more weed uh, packed, like this, the, the smell of weed and really a lot of hops into this. And that's, you can see a little bit uh, and did he in this bear. Was this the first one that they started brewing and it's just kind of changed yep. over time? Yeah, they brewed it. And then they, uh, in order to do that, they still have a lot of other different IPAs uh, according to the original recipe, but this hop circle has been changed. Very cool. Let's yep. get into it. Cool. I'm expecting a little darker. It is. Oh yeah, definitely some more color there. Yeah, a little more color, a little more color to the head as well. So you can see that, that's Danny boys. Uh, you can see the two differences. A little cloudy. So everything that's they the do, ISA. all the filtering that Phillips does that's is the IPA. centrifuge. 
but I think that might be the same with, with a lot of uh, a lot of craft brewers. Yeah, a little, little less head on this one too, and a little darker color. Makes sense. Yeah, a little more malty, a little sweeter to the nose. Yeah. Yeah, so this one, the, the hops hit you a little more at the front uh, than the ISA does, and then lingers the, the same amount. Uh, a little more malty, you got some more burnt flavors, more caramel flavors. Um, definitely your 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 uh, uh, more traditional IPA mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it really comes in later. I mean, I'm still even getting it. You know, as a, as you talk, as you breathe out, you really get those hop notes. I'm very curious, actually. So this is the next one that we're doing, guys. And this this is I had one on the way back uh, on the ferry, actually, on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Six pounds of hops per barrel. This is a uh, this is a hoppiest beer I've ever had in my life. I couldn't take it. I did about half, and I'm like, Dan, you got to finish this. Yeah. There's just a lot. There's a lot in here. I wonder what they would think the IBU count is on that. No, oh, I, I have no idea. There was one I tried from Granville, I would say about four years ago, from Granville Island, and it was called the Imperial IPA. And this was right at the time where it was like, it was like a street fight to see how hoppy they could get the beers. <laughs> it was outrageous. So they claimed it was 120 IBU, but yeah. IBUs max out at, at 100. So, but I wouldn't be surprised. It was, to be honest, it was gross. <laughs> it was just, it was too much. Yeah. It was too much, so. Well, why don't we crack this one so I can see the, the different colors between all three of them? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm gonna grab another glass. It's okay, I'll drink out of the can, it's fine. Go on, go on another bar. Oh, you're going, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Get into it. Here it is, guys. So this one, basically, their little thing, light, malt, all right off to the side, and then you got the hoppiness factor. It's, it's through, high. Through the room. Double Here dry hops, so this has been double dry hop. This is Here's the first two. Light, darker, so ISA, IPA. Okay. Color-wise, a little six. bit more copper. Yep. But not bad, not You're much, right. not much. Cheers, guys. A little wider head than, uh, than, than the IPA. Yeah, BC Beer Guy, Gabor, this is a, uh, this actually isn't available in select stores on the island, but it's just, they only do a select amount of runs on it, and it's predominantly featured in their tasting room. Mm. So you actually gotta run to the, to the actual place to get it. But uh, you can see, there's the ISA, a little swirl for you, so you can see the color, right? Here's the IPA, not too dark, and then you can see this, got a little bit more color to it. Here's the six, this puppy's dark. Okay, go for it, Dan. I want to see your face. Oh, it's just, it <laughs> smells like dry hop. It smells like you just took a handful of hops and just put it up to your nose. Yeah, it's a lot. Woo! <laughs> it's, you know what? It's, you know what? It's not, it's not as big as I remember. It's not, maybe I just had a, a couple different IPAs. Yeah, it's up um, there. It's big. It's uh, a lot of citrus in it, actually. Mm -hmm. And I think they use a, uh, a does it say how many hops? Isn't it six kinds six, of hops? Six types of hops in yeah. six pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The six. It's wow. impressive. Yeah, that's big. And, and it just keeps coming. That is a hoppy beer. That's intense. Give that to someone who's never tried craft beer before. Yeah, they're going to lose their minds. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. They're going to lose it. Um, so while we, while we did that, uh, also while we were at Phillips, we got to, uh, during our interview with Matt, Mr. Matt Phillips, I got to say this guy is inspiring. He is a true entrepreneur in the word, in, in every sense of the word. When he started, he started by himself, went to the bank, bank who said, you want to start a craft brewery and you have no collateral? Fuck off. So he didn't get anything from the bank. So he went on on the same day, so the credit card companies wouldn't find out, he went and got four different credit cards. And to start his business, he maxed out four credit cards. That is insane. I mean, as an entrepreneur, to, to dig yourself that hole at literally 20% interest is, insane so what he did with the money he went and didn't buy tanks he bought metal and he taught himself to weld and he welded his first tanks which are still used today uh, uh in the brewery so it was really cool i i you know garrett and i we, we had met him once or twice before but never in, in a long uh, period of time and it was really fun doing the video clips with him because he, in every sense of the word he's a professional and um, he in describing each beer we would do multiple takes when we thought he did a fantastic job we would do another take and another take and we do as many takes as he wants um, just to make sure he got it just right uh, so so very cool uh, experience I really enjoyed uh, got to know him a little more so hopefully he'll come to Asia with us one day he will I think he will, he will. Come, I think coming soon yeah okay so everybody this is what we tried uh, this little quick one the ISA and there's that palette there again light there's a lot of actually uh, foam retention on this one. 
Then we do the Hop Circle IPA, a little darker, um, a little bit of hop, hops were definitely more pronounced on this one. Color's a little lighter, and there's a little bit darker, even still, this is a six, and that's a, uh, this packs a punch. Uh, head's already got on this one, but uh, you can see the color's just still really, really beautiful, and still somewhat clear, not too hazy. So that's what we had, boom, 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 that's them all together. Okay, fam, uh, we're gonna say goodbye. Couple things. Uh, if you would like to try any of these beers, but either come by and meet us on a Friday. We're happy to have you. And the next big one is gonna be March 9th then. Uh, we've got uh, a bunch of people coming, so we're excited about that. Um, we got no one this Friday. Nobody this Friday. Shoot us a DM if you're free this Friday, come by. We're gonna try some more stuff from, uh, ooh, we got, some, we got some nice stuff. Yeah. We got we some, we're actually, we got, we got a couple nice balls from Phillips and we got a really nice ball from Barrel of Morning. We're gonna do a cherry sour, or or we'll wait next week. Who knows? We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, so we have that Packer and Beer Club. If you'd like to try any of these, and you're overseas people, uh, again, definitely let us know. Shoot us a DM. We're happy to send you some uh, in exchange for a beer review. Uh, Canadian Craft Beer Collective people, uh, check it out. We've now got a brand new person who's managing it, which is super exciting. Uh, so take a look at that. You new YouTube videos coming out. We don't advertise the YouTube vids, but they're there. So take a look. Uh, anything else, Dan? Uh, yeah, I want to start an official countdown. Okay. I want you to know that there's a man coming on very soon, in just a couple weeks. In fact, we're meeting with him after this video. His name is Jimmy Wong, and Jimmy Wong is our new intern. Jimmy and Wong. We just hired Jimmy Wong. You guys are going to get to know Jimmy Wong very well. Jimmy Wong is taking Packer to a whole new level. A whole new level! <laughs> All right? All right, he's here at three. He's the man. He's impeccably dressed. He's got a sick sneaker collection. You're going to get to know Jimmy Wong. Jimmy Wong. Jimmy okay, Wong. guys, we'll see you. Thanks for everything, and uh, we'll chat soon. Cheers, guys. Big kiss, little kiss.